When working with polynomials, factorizations are going to be extremely important because we'll talk, we're will talk. we going to talk about this right now with the so-called factor theorem, but the x-intercepts are going to correspond directly with the factors of the polynomial. So the factor theorem tells us that if f is a polynomial function, then the factor x minus, I should say the polynomial x minus c, it's a linear polynomial, x minus c is a factor of f of x if and only if f of c equals zero. And so this tells us that there's this one-to-one -one correspondence with the x-intercepts of the function. So that's these things over here. f of c equals zero means that c is an x-intercept of the graph. These x-intercepts are one-to-one -one correspondence with the factors x minus c. And so factoring polynomials is going to be critical for us as we try to graph functions because we need to factor them to find the x-intercepts. This is essentially what we did for quadratic functions as well. It's a consequence of the zero product property. But it turns out we can also go the other way around. We can build polynomials by knowing their x-intercepts. Or for polynomials, the x-intercepts are often called the roots of the polynomial. So if I, I say the root of the polynomial, that means these are its x-intercepts. So can we find a polynomial of degree three whose roots are negative three, two, and five? Well, by the factor theorem, if negative three is a root, that means that x minus negative three is, was a factor of the polynomial. If two is a root, that means that x minus two was a factor of the polynomial. And if five is a root, that means that x minus five is a factor of the polynomial. And so this is our polynomial f of x. Now this doesn't uniquely determine f of x, uh, because we don't have enough information to determine the y-intercept, which corresponds to this leading coefficient a. We don't know what the leading coefficient is, uh, but we do know what these x-intercepts are. And so I would probably write this thing as a times x plus 3 times x minus 2 times x minus 5. Now, if you want to, we could multiply this polynomial out, but we already have enough evidence to see that this polynomial is degree 3 because we have 1, 2, 3 factors present right here. And so don't feel like ever multiplying out a polynomial is considered simplified. Simplified is such an ambiguous term in mathematics because simplified really just means that the, the, the expression, the mathematical expression, is in the simplest form in preparation for the next step. If we don't know what the next step is, simplified can be somewhat ambiguous. Uh, and so one thing we're going to see is with polynomials, factoring generally leads to simpler calculations. So leaving something factored is actually going to be very favorable, favorable for us. And so we've been able to construct a polynomial of degree 3, given its three roots, by the factor theorem, because the roots of the polynomial correspond to the factors of the polynomial. There's just one-to-one -one correspondence there.